Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO from BIM Object. And today in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the functionality in the ASA Abloy brand Crawford overhead sectional doors, the OH1042P and the OH1042F. So what I'm going to do here is just quickly draw a wall here. And you can download our free of charge apps directly from BIMobject.com and install them. By clicking on the ASA Abloy button in the BIM Object app in ArchiCAD, you're taken to the ASA Abloy multi-brand private cloud. Simply change the brand from BSUM to Crawford to gain access to the OH1042P and 1042F. As you can see here, we have description text, links back to the Crawford Solutions website, downloads, which I'll come back to in just a moment, related information and classifications. So if we go back to the downloads tab and choose the respective object that you would like to download, as you can see here, we have some nice graphical user interfaces, so it's very intuitive and easy for you to follow and to set the different settings in this particular product. And in this case, we'll be working with the OH1042P. In the first page here, you'll see the different leaf fills that we can work with. So we have left side windows, right side windows. We also have the different types of window shapes here as well. We have the full infills, so you'll get a full metal door. We have the full windows. And finally, we have the customizable one as well. With the customizable one, you can change the different fields here, whether it's metal or glass. And the bottom section, as you can see here, we have a sandwich infill. With the wind class load, you don't actually see any difference in the geometry. It is per uh, purely for listing functions. Again, you can see the different window shapes here. Finally, the frame section. And from the frame section, you can change to the different or choose the different types of glass or acrylic materials. We also have the widths and heights here. As you can see here, we have minimums and maximums. Depending on the size or the width of the door or the height of the door, that determines whether you can have a pass door or not, which I'll come to in just a moment. We have the different track types here the standard lift, the high lift, low lift, and vertical lifts. We also have the balancing systems here. We have a spring brake device or a cable brake device. We also have some settings here which I'll come back to in a moment. So if we go to the next tab here, as I mentioned earlier, we have a pass door as well, and depending on the width and the height of the main door, this determines whether you can actually have a pass door or not inside of the door. As you see here, we have two standard doors. We have the standard threshold and the low threshold. We have two different D 2D details where you can have the, uh, the openings, you can mirror the openings of the doors. We have monitoring systems, we have locking systems, panic locks, and we also have the ability to have the cylinder lock on the inside and the outside. We have the electrical opening systems here as well. So if we just have a look at the manual one first, we have a pull down rope option here. We also have three different chain hoists. We have the D chain hoist, the T and the U hoist as well, which can be chosen. If we go to the electrical operation systems, depending on which operating system you choose, that determines on what accessories you can choose with that particular operating system. So as you can see here with the 920 door control system, we have two additional settings. If we go to the 930, you'll see that we have some other additional settings here as well. And finally, if we go to the 950 door control system, you'll see that we have the D kits the automation D kits. Now depending on which D kit you use, we have one through seven determines on the accessories that are included in that particular D kit. You can also choose to have this on the left hand or the right hand side of the door. This is also changeable dynamically in the 2D and the 3D windows. If we have a look at the different colors, you see in some cases there is only one color to choose from and in other cases we have multiple colors and you can even choose a custom color. By choosing a custom color, it opens up your own ArchiCAD material database. We also have settings for the 2D details, 2D symbols, 
as you can see here, scale sensitivity, or you can choose to have it represented at a specific scale, regardless of the ARCHICAD scale. And finally, in the last page, we have all of the product descriptions, installation instructions, and technical descriptions and links back to the portal. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and draw out a wall here. We don't want it linked to the first story because it's rather high. So if we go to 8,500 and just quickly draw out that wall. If we go ahead and place the door now, just change the seal height to zero here and place that out. If we zoom in a little closer here, you see that we have a high level of detail. This is, of course, adjustable. It can be changed to a lower level of detail. We have functionality such as door openings here, so making sure that it doesn't interfere with anything on the outside or the opening side of the door. As I mentioned earlier, the control boxes are movable, both in the 2D and the 3D window. As you can see here, we have an opening direction of the door and the opening direction of the pass door. With this intelligent hotspot, we can actually open the, the door here, the industrial door, to make sure that there's no interference, which we can see here. And we also have the ability to open and close the pass door in the 3D window as well, again, to make sure that there's no interference around the door. And just quickly demonstrate here the ability to move the control box horizontally and vertically, of course. And as you can see here, we have a quite a high level of detail. Again, this can be changed to a simpler level of detail. Just go ahead and mark this here. Select it and go into the settings, into the appearance settings here. And we can change the level of detail to 1 to 100, for example, and click OK. As you can see here, we have less detail. And if we select that again, and go to the track and balancing system, as I mentioned earlier, we have the different lift systems. So this is the vertical lift. And if we have a look at the low lift here, you see here now that the spring brake is on the back side. And as you can see here, we can also adjust the frame. So this is if you have a ceiling or a roof that's high and you need a balancing system or you need the balancing system to be able to connect to uh, the underside of a slab, for example. You can also enter the values numerically. Again, you have the ability to adjust in a 3D window. And we can snap to the top of the wall, for example. So if we go in and change the width of this now, so as you can see at the moment, we have the pass door. So if we have four windows here and change this to the maximums, so eight meters by six meters. And take OK. What you'll see now is that the pass door has actually disappeared. Because the outer limits of the door have been reached, we are no longer able to have a pass door, as you can see here. So if we go back to the widths where we can have a pass door, for example, 6,500 by 4,000 here. And let's see if that works. Uh, no, it actually doesn't. So we need to go back and change the width, maybe, to 6,000 and see if that's okay. And now again you see here that we have the pass door available and click OK. As you can see here now we can have the pass door again. And let's just try with some different glazing types here. And if we go ahead and try with the frame fills the frame sections here and take OK. And there we have the frame sections. And again we have the high level of detail even in a 3D section so if we go ahead and pull the cutting plane down here 
and just have a quick look at that in the 3D window. As you can see here, we have a high level of detail. And again, it can be changed, of course, to a low, lower level of detail if required. So if we go ahead now and have a look at the OH1042F, as you can he see here, the majority of the settings are the same uh, with some small exceptions. As you can see here, we don't have the left and right hand side windows here. We have different bottom sections as well, which I'll show in just a moment. The lift systems are the same, of course. We have the high lift, standard lift, low lift, and the vertical lift. We have the ability to put in a pass door. We also have the other settings as well. We have the D kits, of course, and the manual opening systems are also available. Materials are a little bit different in this particular door. We have more freedom on the inside infills. As you can see here, we just go ahead and select some of these. And again, by choosing the custom, that gives you access to your own Archicad material library. And as you can see here, the bottom section is locked on the inside. And on the outside, we also have the full freedom to choose any material we like. Again, we have the 2D details and the 3D level of details. And finally, product descriptions, installation instructions, and technical descriptions also linked back to BIMObject.com. If we go ahead and place that out. As you can see here, we have a nice level of detail. Again, this door can also be changed to have a lower, lower level of detail if required. We have the same functionality regarding opening systems. So the door can be opened, of course, to make sure there's no interference. We also have the wind class loads. And as you can see here, we have three different options. So if we go ahead and choose a steel panel here, and just quickly show the opening function here. So again, the Asa Abloy Brands Crawford overhead sectional doors, the OH1042P and the OH1042F, are available for download, totally free of charge. Again, you can download them either via your web browser, bimobject.com, and search for the brand Crawford on bimobject.com. You can also download our free of charge Archicad app and gain access to the Crawford brand via the Archicad app or simply by choosing the multi-branded Archicad icon as a Abloy icon in Archicad and changing the brand to Crawford to gain access to the doors. And these are available as of today with a nice high level of detail and fully configurable. So feel free to download them from bimobject.com. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.